Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Atika Izati binti Aswanizam and I'm from Bachelor Aviation Management. So today we are going to talk about SAF in Europe. SAF stands for Sustainable Aviation Fuels. It produced from sustainable feedstock and is very similar in its chemistry to traditional fossil jet fuel. Using SAF, it can be results in a reduction in carbon emissions compared to the traditional jet fuel it replaces over the life cycle of the fuel. Pre-COVID studies of the two leading aircraft manufacturers such as Airbus and Boeing predicted that the demand for flight will increase by up to 4.5% annually, while it will lead to a doubling of air traffic every 16 years. While this development is desired from an economic perspective, it is associated with extensive negative environmental impacts, especially the emission of greenhouse gases, GHGs, such as carbon dioxide, CO2, is associated with undesirable and long-lasting effects on the climate due to the increased global warming. In 2019, the aviation sector was responsible for 2.6% of global carbon dioxide emission and 5.9% of global atropogenic GHG emissions, even if fuel efficiency improvements of approximately 25% can be achieved with each new aircraft generation. The predicted growth in flights would cause the aviation-induced GHG emissions to triple up until 2050. These negative impacts are mainly due to the combustion of fossil kerosene during flight operation in which about 2.5 kg of carbon dioxide is emitted per liter of kerosene. An average medium-haul aircraft such as the Airbus A320 consumes around 2,700 liter of kerosene per flight hour causing 6,750 kg of carbon dioxide emission during this period. So, various strategies have been devised in the aviation sector, such as the introduction of the carbon offsetting and reduction scheme for international aviation, which is we call CORSIA. Notably, the European aviation industry imposed ambitious goals on themselves until 2050 based on the Flight Path 2050 strategy. A first step toward the achievement of these reduction goals is the mandatory participation of airlines in the European Union Emission Trading System, we call EU ETS for intra-European flights. However, Croatia and the EU ETS predominantly aim to provide financial compensation for the environmental impacts of air travel. For the far-reaching strategic concept in the aviation sector are the utmost importance to enhance sustainable aviation independent of fossil fuels. To this end, the aviation industry is increasingly focusing on the use of alternative powertrain technologies in the aircraft fleet, such as fuel cell-based and battery-based concepts. Extensive structural modification of the aircraft accompany these technological transitions. Furthermore, alternative fuels contain no sulfur or aromatic compounds, which results in less particulate matter and NOx being released during combustion. However, their production is often energy intensive, and some feedstocks lead to environmental pollution themselves. In addition, alternative fuels are often more expensive to produce than fossil kerosene, which is why airlines consider the, their use critically. Therefore, the extent to which these alternative fuels can contribute to achieving Europe's ambitious emission reduction goal must be analyzed and evaluated carefully. As a conclusion from my presentation, SAFs can be partially advantageous in environmental aspects. However, at the current state of development and considering the prevailing production conditions of the fuels, fossil kerosene is to be preferred. Concerning the economic impacts, SAF are not yet competitive and political measures must promote their use, such as substitutes, uh, subsidies and the tax measures. 
It is particularly noticeable that the SAF, which are energy intensive to produce, this become competitive with fossil kerosene from an environmental point of view. Only the impact category MRD deteriorated due to the RE plants to be built. Therefore, SAF produced by RE can be a solution for reducing the environmental impacts of the aviation sector and contribute to the achievement of the Flight Path 2050 goals. That's all my presentation. Thank you for listening.